However, when considering Hollywood blondes, one cannot overlook the actress best known for her role in Charlie's Angels. She embodied the girl next door during the 1970s and 80s, celebrated for both her pinup appeal and her unforgettable hairstyle. Beneath the glamorous exterior, her life had its share of challenges and ups and downs. Unveiling the real story behind this classic, let's explore 10 amazing facts everyone should know about this beloved star. Born as Lenny Fawcett on February 2, 1947, in Corpus Christi, Texas, the actress we now know as Farrah Fawcett began her life in a humble coastal town. Her mother played a significant role in shaping her identity when she decided to bestow upon her a unique name, Farrah. This moniker, chosen because it sounded well with her surname, would eventually become synonymous with Hollywood glamour. The early stirrings of fame emerged during her time in college. As a freshman, she captured attention and accolades by being named one of the 10 most beautiful co-eds on campus, an incredible distinction for someone so young. What makes this recognition even more remarkable is that she was the first freshman ever to receive this prestigious honor. Little did anyone know then that this stunning young woman would go on to capture hearts and minds across the globe through her work in television and film. Fresh off her college graduation, Farrah Fawcett made the decision to move to Los Angeles in the summer of 1968. Just 21 years old, she was eager to make a name for herself in the city's thriving entertainment industry. Little did she know, it would be a photograph taken nearly a decade later that would catapult her to fame. The now iconic image of Fawcett, dressed in a red one-piece bathing suit, and standing with her hair cascading down her shoulders, graced the walls of countless teenagers' bedrooms in the mid-1970s. The poster quickly became a sensation, ultimately selling over 12 million copies and breaking records as the best-selling poster in history. But even before this defining moment, Fawcett had already begun making waves in Hollywood. She landed roles on popular television shows like Harry O and The Six Million Dollar Man, which led to her being cast in what would become one of the most successful TV series of all time, Charlie's Angels. Despite the success of the show, it was clear that Fawcett was destined for greater things. Her magnetic charm and undeniable talent captured audiences around the globe, leaving an indelible mark on pop culture. And while Charlie's Angels remains a beloved classic, it's hard to deny that the true symbol of Fawcett's legacy can be found in that unforgettable red swimsuit. To this day, it serves as a reminder of the actress's timeless beauty and the impact she left on the entertainment industry. Farrah Fawcett, chosen to play Jill Monroe in the popular television series Charlie's Angels, catapulted to fame when the show made its debut on September 22, 1976. This classic drama centered around three female private investigators working for a mysterious boss named Charlie, quickly gained popularity among viewers and turned into a cultural phenomenon. While Fawcett earned a respectable salary of $5,000 per episode for her role in Charlie's Angels, she ended up making significantly more through another venture. The iconic poster featuring Fawcett's radiant smile and luscious golden locks was released in 1976, soon after the premiere of Charlie's Angels. With over 12 million copies sold during its initial release alone, it remains one of the best-selling posters of all time. Overwhelmed by demand, the manufacturer continued producing the image even decades later. As a result, Fawcett reportedly received approximately 400000 in royalties from these poster sales, substantially out earning what she made from the hit TV show itself. Indeed, the impact of this striking poster transcended the small screen, becoming ingrained in pop culture history and leaving a lasting mark on generations past and present. Farrah Fawcett, the actress who became a cultural icon in the 1970s, made a sudden exit from the hit television show Charlie's Angels after just one season. This decision was driven by the pressure the show put on her marriage and her desire to expand her acting horizons. Dating back to the late 1960s, Fawcett was in a relationship with fellow actor Lee Majors, whom she eventually married in 1973. Their union lasted until 1982, but even during their marriage, Fawcett sought out opportunities to challenge herself artistically. One of those challenges came when Fawcett began a romantic involvement with actor Ryan O'Neill. Although this relationship had its ups and downs, it represented another chapter in Fawcett's personal and professional life. Throughout her career, Farrah Fawcett demonstrated a commitment to exploring diverse roles and pushing beyond the limitations placed upon her. Whether through her work on Charlie's Angels, her high-profile relationships, or her subsequent projects, Fawcett left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. 
Moreover, the struggles faced by her only child, Redmond James Fawcett O'Neill, have cast a shadow over the actress's life. For most of his life, Redmond has battled drug addiction and encountered numerous legal issues that have caused heartache for his mother. In 2006, his health took a drastic turn when he was diagnosed with anal cancer. This diagnosis was a shock, and even more distressing was the resurgence of the disease in 2007. The challenges became greater when he was later diagnosed with stage 4 cancer, leading to a difficult journey for both him and the actress. The public attention surrounding their struggles only added to the weight of their experiences as they navigated personal battles in the spotlight. Farrah Fawcett, the actress best known for her role in the popular 70s series Charlie's Angels, passed away on June 25, 2009, after a battle with colorectal cancer. She was 62 years old. Sadly, her death was overshadowed by the news of pop icon Michael Jackson's passing on the same day. Despite the media frenzy surrounding Jackson's death, friends and family of Fawcett gathered for a private funeral service held on June 30, 2009. Among those in attendance was her incarcerated son, Redmond O'Neill, who made headlines when he was granted permission to attend the ceremony. In a poignant moment, Redmond gave the first reading during the service. Colorectal cancer had taken a toll on Fawcett's health, but she fought valiantly until the very end. Her courage throughout her illness inspired many, making her legacy all the more significant. While her career included various roles in both television and film, it was her work in Charlie's Angels that catapulted her to stardom and solidified her place in pop culture history. This classic show drew millions of viewers each week and cemented Fawcett's status as a sex symbol and style icon. The memory of Farrah Fawcett lives on through her films, shows, and the countless people whose lives she touched. Though her life was cut short, her impact continues to resonate today. In 2010, during the 82nd Academy Award ceremony, a controversy erupted when the beloved actress Farrah Fawcett was excluded from the annual In Memoriam segment, which pays tribute to industry professionals who have passed away in the preceding year. This omission caused great distress amongst her family, friends, and fans, sparking widespread debate over the criteria used for inclusion in the esteemed memorial piece. The iconic star had made a significant impact on both television and film throughout her career, earning accolades and admiration for her work. Her breakthrough role in the popular series Charlie's Angels, along with critically acclaimed performances in films like Extremities and The Apostle, solidified her status as a talented artist. Consequently, many found it puzzling that she would be overlooked in such a public manner by the prestigious awards organization. As details surrounding the snub emerged, speculation grew regarding potential reasons behind the decision. Some suggested that perhaps administrative errors were responsible, while others pointed towards possible biases or oversights within the selection process. Regardless, the situation raised questions concerning the transparency and fairness of the Academy's practices when acknowledging those who have left indelible marks on Hollywood. Following the outcry, the Academy issued statements expressing regret for the oversight, but stopped short of formally apologizing for the incident. Instead, they emphasized their commitment to honoring all deserving individuals moving forward. Despite these assurances, however, doubts lingered regarding whether meaningful changes would be implemented to prevent future occurrences of this nature. Ultimately, the unfortunate exclusion served as a reminder of the importance of recognizing the contributions of every artist within the entertainment industry, regardless of fame, fortune, or genre preferences. For supporters of Farrah Fawcett, her legacy continued to shine brightly, undimmed by any perceived slights or oversights from external sources. In the glittering world of Hollywood, few names shine as brightly as Farrah Fawcett. Born on February 2, 1947, in Corpus Christi, Texas, she would grow up to become a symbol of beauty and talent in the 1970s and 80s. After studying art in college, Farrah's life took a turn towards acting when she was discovered by a film agent. Her breakthrough role came in 1976, when she starred as Jill Monroe in the hit television series Charlie's Angels. With her stunning looks and impressive acting skills, Farrah quickly became one of the most popular actresses of her time. Her iconic red swimsuit poster sold over 12 million copies, making it one of the best-selling posters of all time. Despite her success in commercial projects, Farrah never shied away from taking on more serious roles. She received critical acclaim for her performance in the TV movie The Burning Bed, which tackled the issue of domestic violence. Later, she also appeared in several theater productions, further cementing her status as a versatile performer. 
Farah continued to act throughout the 1990s and early 2000s, earning Emmy nominations for her work in shows like The Guardian. Sadly, her career was cut short due to health issues, and she passed away on June 25, 2009. Yet even after her death, her legacy lives on through her groundbreaking performances and undeniable charm. Farrah Fawcett will always remain a true legend of both beauty and talent in the entertainment industry. Farrah Fawcett was born on February 2, 1947, in Corpus Christi, Texas, to James Fawcett, a renowned oil man, and Pauline Fawcett, a homemaker and artist. Farrah's mother encouraged her creative interests from a young age, enrolling her in art classes and modeling courses. This early exposure to artistic expression sparked Farrah's passion for acting and performance. Growing up in a tight-knit family, Farrah developed strong values and a deep sense of responsibility. Her parents taught her the importance of hard work, determination, and perseverance, qualities she would carry throughout her career. Despite her conservative upbringing, Farrah always had a rebellious streak which fueled her desire to push boundaries and challenge conventions. Farah attended the University of Texas at Austin, where she studied microbiology before switching her focus to acting. During her time at university, she met her future husband, Lee Majors, who played a significant role in supporting her dreams and introducing her to influential figures in Hollywood. One of these influencers was Charlie's Angels creator, Aaron Spelling, who cast Farah in the iconic role of Jill Monroe alongside Jacqueline Smith, and Kate Jackson. Spelling recognized Farrah's star quality and helped shape her image into one of the most recognizable faces of the late 1970s. Another pivotal figure in Farrah's life was director Brian De Palma, who directed her in the controversial film The Burning Bed. Under his guidance, Farrah delivered a powerful and moving performance, earning critical acclaim and solidifying her status as a serious actress. Through these relationships and experiences, Farrah found herself drawn towards challenging roles that allowed her to explore new depths as an artist. Ever since she was a young girl, Farrah Fawcett had always been drawn to the magical world of acting. She would often put on shows for her family, much to their delight. Her mother, especially, nurtured this creative spark in her by enrolling her in dance and art classes. However, it was during her high school years that Farrah's passion for acting truly ignited. Driven by a deep desire to explore the boundaries of her talent, Farrah decided to try out for the lead role in her high school's production of Bye Bye Birdie. To everyone's surprise, including her own, she landed the part. As she stepped onto the stage for the first time, feeling the bright lights shining down on her, something inside her shifted. She knew she had found her calling. Farrah poured her heart and soul into every performance, captivating audiences with her radiant smile and undeniable charisma. Word quickly spread about the talented new actress in town, and before long, she caught the attention of Hollywood agents. Despite initially hesitating to leave behind everything she knew, Farrah ultimately made the decision to move to California to pursue her dream of becoming an actress. It wasn't long before Farrah became one of the most recognizable faces in television and film. From her iconic role as Jill Monroe in Charlie's Angels to her powerful performances in movies like The Burning Bed, Farrah proved time and again, why she belonged among the stars. And yet, despite all her success, she never lost sight of where it all began, that small Texas town where she first discovered her love for storytelling and entertaining others. Farrah Fawcett's journey to stardom was marked by significant obstacles. Born on February 2, 1947, in Corpus Christi, Texas, she experienced financial struggles during her childhood. Despite growing up in a large family with limited resources, Fawcett remained determined to pursue her dreams. As a young actress, Fawcett encountered skepticism from industry professionals who questioned her talent and potential. However, she refused to let others define her capabilities and continued to hone her craft. She worked tirelessly to improve her acting skills and sought out roles that would challenge her abilities. One notable example of Fawcett's resilience occurred when she landed the role of Jill Monroe in the hit television series Charlie's Angels. Initially, producers were hesitant to cast Fawcett due to concerns about her acting experience. Nevertheless, Fawcett persisted and ultimately won over the show's creators with her determination and passion. Farrah Fawcett also demonstrated creativity in finding solutions to the challenges she faced. For instance, she used her natural beauty and charisma to her advantage, appearing in numerous magazine spreads and product endorsements. These opportunities allowed her to gain exposure and build a following before achieving mainstream success as an actress. Moreover, Fawcett took risks 
and pursued unconventional projects outside of traditional Hollywood fare. Her daring performances in independent films helped solidify her reputation as a serious artist capable of tackling complex roles. Throughout her career, Farrah Fawcett displayed remarkable tenacity and resourcefulness in overcoming various obstacles. By remaining committed to her goals and continuously pushing herself beyond her comfort zone, she became one of the most beloved and respected actresses of her generation. Farrah Fawcett's breakthrough moment came in 1976 when she starred in the film Charlie's Angels. Her role as Jill Monroe brought her instant fame and made her a household name. The show's unique blend of action, drama, and glamour proved to be a winning formula, attracting millions of viewers each week. Co-star Jacqueline Smith recalled, Farrah had this incredible energy and charisma that just radiated off the screen. Critics also took notice, praising Fawcett's performance and helping to establish her as a major talent in Hollywood. The following year, Fawcett experienced another career high point with the release of the iconic poster featuring her famed hairstyle and radiant smile. This image became one of the best-selling posters of all time, solidifying her status as a cultural phenomenon. Despite leaving Charlie's Angels after only one season, Fawcett continued to push boundaries and take on challenging roles throughout her career. In 1984, she received widespread acclaim for her portrayal of a woman battling cancer in the TV movie The Burning Bed. Director Robert Greenwald said of Fawcett, she brought so much depth and emotion to the character, it was truly remarkable. Throughout her career, Farrah Fawcett remained a trailblazer, always eager to explore new territory and challenge herself as an artist. Her contributions to the entertainment industry will forever be remembered, inspiring generations to come. Farrah Fawcett was best known for her role as private investigator Jill Monroe in the hit TV show Charlie's Angels, but she was also celebrated for her artistic vision and process. Throughout her career, Fawcett approached her acting roles with a unique blend of vulnerability and strength, creating complex characters that resonated with audiences worldwide. Farrah Fawcett believed in diving deep into her characters, understanding their motivations, desires, and fears. She once said, I think if you play a character who is real, and believable, then it can touch people. This commitment to authenticity shone through in every performance, making her portrayals both captivating and relatable. Her artistic vision extended beyond acting, delving into visual arts like painting and sculpture. These creations provided insight into her thoughts and emotions, reflecting her innermost feelings about life, love, and relationships. In fact, her artwork has been exhibited in galleries across the United States. One notable example of Fawcett's dedication to her craft is her documentary Farrah's Story. This intimate portrait revealed her battle against cancer, highlighting her resilience and courage in overcoming adversity. By sharing her journey so openly, she inspired countless individuals facing difficult challenges. Despite being a public figure, Fawcett remained grounded by her Texas upbringing and close family ties. Her down-to-earth personality contrasted sharply with her glamorous image, contributing to her appeal an enduring legacy. Drawing on her own experiences, she often chose roles that allowed her to explore universal themes like hope, perseverance, and self-discovery. Throughout her career, Farrah Fawcett left an indelible mark on Hollywood and art worlds alike. With each new project, she pushed herself creatively while staying true to her core values, honesty, compassion, and bravery. Today, her impact continues to inspire aspiring artists around the globe proving that talent combined with determination can lead to greatness. Farrah Fawcett's impact on the acting industry was nothing short of transformative. She first gained recognition in the late 1970s when she starred in the popular television series Charlie's Angels. Her portrayal of private investigator Jill Monroe catapulted her to stardom and made her one of the most recognizable faces on television. Fawcett's influence extended beyond just her acting abilities. With her signature feathered hairstyle and wholesome image, she became a cultural icon and style inspiration for millions of women around the world. Her impact on pop culture can still be felt today, with many modern celebrities citing her as a source of inspiration. But it was her fearless approach to challenging roles that truly set Fawcett apart as an actress. Throughout her career, she took on complex and often controversial parts, including her Emmy-nominated role in the TV movie The Burning Bed and her critically acclaimed performance in the play Extremities. These roles showcased her versatility as an actress and cemented her place as a trailblazer in the industry. According to industry expert Robert Jensen, professor emeritus at the University of Texas at Austin, 
Farrah Fawcett challenged expectations about what it meant to be a sex symbol. She showed that you could be both beautiful and talented and paved the way for future generations of female actors to do the same. Director Brian De Palma echoed this sentiment, saying, Farrah had a unique ability to combine vulnerability with strength. She brought depth and complexity to every character she played, and I think that's why audiences connected with her so deeply. Even after her passing, Fawcett's legacy continues to inspire and captivate new fans. As film critic Leonard Maltin put it, Farrah Fawcett left behind a body of work that will continue to resonate with audiences for years to come. Her talent, beauty, and grace have left an indelible mark on Hollywood and on all who knew her. Farrah Fawcett was more than just an actress. She was also a dedicated philanthropist who used her platform for good. Growing up, Fawcett was close with her family and often spoke about the importance of giving back to her community. This passion for helping others carried over into her professional life. She was involved in various charitable organizations throughout her career, including the American Cancer Society. Fawcett's own experiences with cancer inspired her to get involved in raising awareness and funds for research. In 2006, she was diagnosed with anal cancer and underwent aggressive treatment. Throughout her battle, Fawcett remained committed to using her platform to help others facing similar challenges. She even documented her journey in a raw and emotional documentary called Farrah's Story, which shed light on the realities of living with cancer. In addition to her work with the American Cancer Society, Fawcett supported other causes close to her heart. She was an advocate for animal rights and worked with groups like PETA to promote humane treatment of animals. Fawcett also lent her support to arts education programs, recognizing the value of creativity and self-expression. Despite the many challenges she faced, Fawcett never lost sight of the importance of giving back. Her generosity and commitment to making a difference continued to inspire those who knew her and those whose lives were touched by her work. Through her philanthropic efforts and dedication to worthy causes, Fawcett left behind a legacy that extends far beyond her acting career. Let's dive into the life and career of Farrah Fawcett, a true icon in the acting world. Best known for her role in the hit TV show Charlie's Angels, Fawcett left an indelible mark on the industry with her talent and charisma. Her work resonated deeply with audiences, making her one of the most beloved actresses of her time. Farrah Fawcett was born on February 2, 1947, in Corpus Christi, Texas. Even as a young girl, she showed a natural talent for performing, which led her to pursue a career in acting. She began by appearing in commercials and small roles before landing her breakout part. In Charlie's Angels in 1976, throughout her career, Fawcett continued to challenge herself with diverse roles, showing her range and versatility as an actress. In addition to her television work, she also starred in numerous films and stage productions, despite facing personal struggles later in life. She remained committed to her craft until her passing on June 25, 2009. Now, let's consider what aspiring actors can learn from Farrah Fawcett's journey. Firstly, never underestimate the importance of hard work and dedication. Fawcett consistently pushed herself to improve and evolve as an artist, even when faced with adversity. Additionally, embracing diversity in roles can help demonstrate range and versatility, qualities highly valued in the entertainment industry. Lastly, remember that every actor leaves behind a unique tapestry of experiences, stories, and performances. As Farrah Fawcett did, strive to weave an intriguing narrative through your own body of work, leaving a lasting impact on those who experience it. By following these principles, you too can contribute meaningfully to the ever-evolving landscape of the acting world. Farrah Fawcett's journey began in Corpus Christi, Texas, where she was born on February 2, 1947. From a young age, her passion for acting shone through. She pursued this dream, moving to California and studying at the University of Texas before leaving to focus solely on her career. Fawcett quickly made a name for herself with roles in various television series during the late 1960s and early 1970s. However, it wasn't until 1976 when she catapulted to stardom as one of Charlie's Angels, a role which would forever change the landscape of television. Her iconic hairstyle became an international sensation, making her a household name practically overnight. Despite achieving immense success early on, Fawcett never rested on her laurels. She continuously pushed boundaries, taking risks, and challenging herself by exploring diverse genres throughout her career. This relentless pursuit of growth led her to tackle more serious parts, earning critical acclaim for her performances in films like The Burning Bed and TV movies such as Small Sacrifices. 
even amid personal struggles, including a highly publicized battle with cancer, Fawcett remained committed to her craft. In fact, she turned her experience into art, creating a deeply personal documentary titled Farrah's Story, providing hope and inspiration to countless viewers worldwide. Throughout her life, Farrah Fawcett proved time, and again that dedication, hard work, and unwavering determination can lead to greatness. Her innovative approach to storytelling, an undying spirit left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, inspiring generations of artists who followed in her footsteps. Reflecting on Fawcett's extraordinary legacy serves as a powerful reminder of the transformative potential of creativity and persistence. Let us carry forward the lessons imparted by this remarkable woman, daring to push limits, evolving our skills, and remaining steadfast in the face of adversity. As we look back on the life and career of Farrah Fawcett, it's clear that her work has left a lasting impression on the entertainment industry. Best known for her role in the hit TV show Charlie's Angels, Fawcett became a household name and a symbol of female empowerment during the 1970s. But her talents extended far beyond acting. She was also an accomplished artist, using painting as a way to express herself and connect with others. Farrah Fawcett was born on February 2, 1947, in Corpus Christi, Texas. From a young age, she showed a natural talent for performing, appearing in school plays and local theater productions. After graduating high school, she attended the University of Texas at Austin, where she continued to hone her craft. In 1968, Fawcett made the move to Hollywood, where she quickly landed roles in popular television shows like The Six Million Dollar Man. However, it wasn't until Charlie's Angels debuted in 1976 that Fawcett truly became a star. Her iconic hairstyle and stunning good looks made her one of the most recognizable faces on television, and her portrayal of private investigator Jill Monroe earned her critical acclaim and legions of fans. Despite the success of Charlie's Angels, Fawcett refused to be pigeonholed as just a pretty face. Throughout her career, she took on challenging roles in both film and television, proving herself to be a talented actress capable of tackling complex and nuanced characters. In addition to her work on screen, Fawcett was also passionate about giving back to her community. She worked tirelessly as an advocate for cancer research and support after being diagnosed with anal cancer in 26. As we remember Farrah Fawcett today, let us celebrate not only her contributions to the entertainment industry, but also her dedication to making the world a better place. Share your favorite memories of Fawcett's work in the comments below, and don't forget to like and share this post with your friends and family. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more stories celebrating the lives and legacies of the artists who have shaped our world.